Woo! Raw! Knows how to send us off pretty good before the go before the go home show. And to be honest, they just did really good good work compared to, you know, another show. But that neither here nor there. I was like going ahead and trying to do this raw rehab. Try to do a little rapping style. At least faster than my normal. Let's see. Alright, so I will say let's I was like, I'm gonna just talk about Uncle Howdy. It was it was weird. I am glad that my only Uncle Howdy, Bo Dallas, what they also don't seem to know what name to really use or how to make a fit, got the main event. I'm I'm cool with that. I was like I was like, oh this is cool. Not only the act itself, but also Bo being in the spot. And I guess Chad too, because I was like I was trying to think, I was like, how much have Chad been probably I was like, uh the Sami Zayn one. I was like, I at least remember that one that went off the air. So I was like, but him being in the prom storyline and in the main event. The match was I was like, it was good. I was like, but let's really talk about that. The mask. The mask is I, I think it's gonna have to go. Unlike Dexter Loomis with his dreads D this isn't the same thing. And even if it is, I was like, it's it's not controlled in the same way as like the women's mat. I was like, and in the women with their long hair, because I was like, they have long hair and it doesn't seem to affect them as much as it was when Uncle Howdy. Like it was in his face, and I was like, I know it's it's different also because it's like, I don't like everybody like real hair. It's just on the mask. It's just on the outer layer, so it's just here the whole time. It's just like this, and you got to do this, and then it's like this, and then you got to do this, and that's too much. That's doing too much. Um, and I was like, also, he's Uncle Howdy, even though, except for uh, Nikki Cross, which they sort of do Nikki Cross, Abigail, but everybody else is also themselves. He's Uncle Howdy, Bo Dallas, Bo Dallas, Uncle Howdy. I was like, I, I, and I was like, is the mask really a problem? I mean, Kane wore a mask for several years with the hair and stuff like that, that, but I was like, is it really that big of a deal? And I was like, it shouldn't be. But, uh, you know, because like I said, with Kane, it wasn't. But here, it just seemed like it got in the way. It seemed like it does more uh, more harm than good. So I would, like, I would really prefer if they, if he just sort of just like Bo Dallas this thing. Where like he's Uncle Howdy to the whole ring and then he just becomes Bo Dallas. I think it works a lot better. I think it works more fluidly. Uh, as far as like the match itself, I was like, uh, I was like, it, I was like, we sort of knew how we're going to go, where they're going to get like the little jumping in, and then you know everybody from each squad comes in or whatever. Uh, but no, I was like, it was fine. I was like, the match itself probably not like main event, but the atmosphere that it created main event. But that's just that, that's just something that I was just like my nitpick of, of just that match. But the overall show, good, great. Um, I was like starting off with basically Judgment Day comes out. And while they're out, they're basically saying they're going to beat everybody up during, uh, you know, Bash of Berlin. Uh, why they sort of did it, of uh, turning on, they're, they're like, we're not the villains, y'all are the villains. Uh, I was like, you've been backstabbed, and I was like, basically like, evil your way up through the whole thing. So, but then we get Rey Mysterio and LWO coming out, which, to be honest, I didn't know why. Um, just felt like off. Um, but we end up getting an eight man tag between the, the two stables and great match such in a way. It's like, why don't we do this more? You forget that dragon lead the part LWO. I was like, um, I was like, they're tagged. I was like, they're tagged him. I was like, I forgot who they sort of was. Hell, I'm sort of forgetting who they really are now. I was like, not legato. Like, damn, El Fantasma. Either way. Match, I was like, the match was good. I was like, Judgment Day got a whole group of people that's also good at selling and things like that. But the high flying, I was like, the luchador, I'm like, and the crowd was like so behind that it was like, yo, why they, they need to start putting these people in more. Like, why aren't they doing some some tag team stuff? Why is that Dragon Lee a lot more? Like, they're going to put them in that Intercontinental uh, three way next week. But I'm like, he. He should be in some of these stuff. He should be thrown into all this stuff. I mean, hell, I was like, I was like, not gonna lie, I was like, that kind of what SmackDown needed. But I was like, uh, no, the math was great. I was like, basically, 
uh, due to they kept saying the numbers game, and I, was, and I was like, I get Liv as an extra person, but it's even. It's still somewhat even. Because um, I'm like, Liv distracts the ref. I was like, now it's, it's I was like, still 4-4. Four four. But the numbers game got him. And basically, Ray gets pinned again by his dad, I mean, by his son, Dominic. Dominic now has two wins on him lately versus the other two wins. And it's not the fact that it's a tag match that he's getting a win. It's the fact that Liv has helped him, which is a good thing. But at the same time, if he got a solo dolo this thing, nah. Um, then after that, they try to start beating up uh, LWO, put Ray on the table. Terra Twin comes out and uh, basically scared uh, everybody away. But was able to base the destroy Carlito. And JD got the rip tie from Rhea that looked like it was nothing for her. Um, so get ready for that, Dom at Bash in Berlin. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I was like, so I was like, that's that'll go, that'll be a weird, ta uh, mixed tag match. I really, I was like, I don't know if you could do a tornado tag with the mixed match, but I was like, it's gonna be interesting to see who wins that. I was like, it, it looks like it might be Dom and them, but we'll see. Uh, then we get Damage Control coming out to PFC. Uh, Pure Feud and Collective, which I'm glad one that they shortened the name to initials, uh, along with having the full name. It's like cool, they should meet us in the middle. And also, they got new theme music with Thank God, because I was like, you know, like Shayna Baszler music ain't, it ain't good as it was in NXT. Sonya Deville's is, is better. Um, you know, you at least know it's hard. I was like, you at least know it's them with their music. Zoe's okay as well, too, until I was like, you basically just waiting for the words to come in, but it takes so long that you done forgot. So, this new thing song, I was like, not that it, like, knocks out the part, but I was like, good. They at least got something where it's like, there we go. They're together, coming out. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, basically standard tag match. Uh, I was like, uh, Kari Sane and Eos Sky gets the win. Basically, they both just jump off things at the same time. Uh, yeah, nothing more, nothing less. I was, I was like, it was an okay match. I was like, it, it is really, it's really difficult to, just because I'm like, they got NXT history, you know, Kyrie saying Shayna, Zoe Stark, and uh, EO Style. I mean, yeah, EO Sky, EO Styles. And sometimes it seems like it, but sometimes it doesn't. And I'm just like. I remember some, especially the Kari Sane and, and Santa matches. I was like, it doesn't feel like that here. So that that's sort of the problem. So, but Zelina basically comes in and takes out Sonya Deville to basically have the numbers uh, even or whatever, plateau, whatever word you want to use. Uh, and, you know, she got to get her lick back because they were talking junk about all the people they done put home and hurt and all this other stuff. Then we get Drew McIntyre coming out. Basically saying CM Punk scared. I was like, he'd always tag me from behind. And guess what? He attacked him from behind. And he beat his ass with the strap. Did he beat a whole bunch of other people? Uh some other security guards. Uh I will point this out. I am very shocked, but also I'm like I'm like, let's see somebody talk about it, but I'm like, no, hopefully not. Uh, of him beating the security guards and the last one getting whipped. Uh, was a little bird was a person that uh, looked similar. Uh, and I was like, oh, they actually did it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and basically, CM Punk just stood tall while Drew scattered past the ring, which is sort of like, hmm, is Drew going to win this strap match? I'm like, but he had two wins over CM Punk. And I was like, if anything, they could they could say that story. But that's, that's for another video. Um, all right, so we get our first triple threat. Match of Jay Uso, Kofi Kingston, and Karrion Cross. I was like, I sort of like that this this the mix up is because Kofi and Karrion Cross have been going through things, which I mean, maybe in one sense they should have had that one with the Xavier one. Um, but also two down, like because they sort of been in like a decent feud that Jay's there to, to raise it up. But I feel like Jay should have been in the other one just because I was like that one was. Mm. But anyway. I was like, they were basically taking out Karrion Cross, and then with Jay and Kofi, I was like, then after a while, I was like, Karrion Cross started getting his offense in. Kofi Kingston basically knocks out Jay Uso, which him and Karrion starts going back and forth. They didn't really wrestle like they had a few, to be honest. Um, I like really like that. Uh, and then I was like, 
Carrying Cross takes out Kofi. I was like Jay Spears carrying Cross. Get then he did a little swat. I mean his little jump, and he goes on. Uh, I was I was surprised a little bit just because I was like okay, I was like because there was many there were many ways they could have went with this. I was like Jay winning. I was like is it surprising? It was like did they let Kofi win and Xavier lose? Did they let Kofi lose and Xavier win? But I was like, but they went with Jay, and I was like, I also think too that I was like, I sort of think the fourth. I was like, we got because we got two matches next week, so I was like, I, I also had the idea that we were gonna have a triple, another triple threat, and then the last one was gonna be like, like the losers bracket or the loser slot, but we're not gonna get that. Um, but yeah, Jay comes out, and to be honest, right now he looks like the winner of the whole thing because him and then Braun basically calls out calls him out pretty much and I was like he called him out also. So it looks like we're gonna get that match to be honest. Uh Randy Orton came out to do a promo and thank God it was just him just because him and Gunther promos have been a little awkward and clunky and chunky and you know and this felt like an act like like a good Randy Orton promo where it was it kinda of could just be him. He could just sort of talk, he could just sort of do accolades and all this other stuff and I was like I was like, good. It's a, it, we get in, we get out, we ain't gotta do none of them dumb USA chants. Um I was like, he ain't ain't gotta play this weird ass heel that he don't he sorta of don't. Um I was like, Randy ain't talking about his hot ass wife, you know, things like that. It just removed out. So but yeah, he basically just ran through his stuff and just talked about how he's gonna win because Gunther had been tested, and we know that uh, him winning is a lie. So then we get Braun Strowman versus Bronson Reed, and I was wondering how they was going to do this. I thought it was going to be something that was going to end in some type of like they don't. I was like, this is a good matchup for Bronson Reed. Uh, having someone big like Braun, but also Bronson Reed is on a streak of being dominant. Not even with wins, just dominant that you can't shoo shoo that. Um, I thought it was gonna be something that they just beat each other up until they both couldn't move. And that kinda what it was. It just ended in a way where like first of all, they was over here going at it in the ring. I was like Braun and them just over here knocking each other down, throw I was like Braun threw him off the ropes. Um I was like, so it it was getting it was getting heavy. Uh and then Bronze and Reed, who that's gonna be a lot. It just over here, just like, you know what, forget this, I'm leaving. And he just started making his way up the ramp. Braun tries to take him out, and then Bronson throws him, throws him to the LED screen. They go backstage and start fighting. Uh, really nobody, because they, they start chucking a security guard out, and the security guard had a night. Uh, and he, they just start throwing him around. Basically, this thing ended with... Them fighting on top of a car, throwing. I was like Braun, Braun Strowman throwing choke slamming on the car, stuff like that. Bronson Reed hitting that with a pipe on top of a car. Got step was able to step all the way up, got onto this ledge, and just dive down and destroy Braun Strowman. And they just busted the car. And I was like, it took a minute for us to get the A to B, but C, yo. We got, I was like, we got it. That's how we do it. I was like, yo, that was some good ratio right there. Um, and they said Braun and Reed was able to just walk away like nothing. And Braun Strowman was over here like, I can't feel my fingers and whatnot. And we'll see. They'll, they'll, I was like, and we'll see how that goes and what it continue it later on. Um, then we get Miz, Xavier Woods, and we get Pete Dune. And I was like, Pete, I was like, one. I, did, I was like, I knew Whit Miz wasn't going to win, so it was between the two. And I was like, the Xavier part of it is the part of, like, how do you keep building the thing between him and Zay, him and Kofi? And it's like, like, having him lose, I guess, is the better option. Which, I mean, that's fine with me. Um, and I was like, it's not that bad. Uh, but I was like, this is where, like, something like Jay would have been good for this type of matchup because it was just, it was just, like, a little bit off. Because you had two people that was just kind of like, it's like, it's Xavier Woods, even though they like him. I was like, he it's still just kind of an element versus Pete Dunn that lost against Shaman. That's also another, his own element and a miss and whatnot. But Peter Dunn, Pete Dunn won that. Uh, 
Um, also wanted to say, uh, Braun, I told you, he was talking. And I didn't want to know, uh, instead of Braun Breaker, he needs to be Brown Breaker because... By God, that boy is tanning, spraying, whatever you want to say. I want to say spraying because I was like, they travel so much. I'm like, you. I was like, you ain't got time to sound the sun. So you either tanning or you like a car or something like that. Um. Also, another note is I was like Chad G uh Chad Gable's American Made outfits. I was like, like them. I was like the whole American and the star and the M and the star. Kudos to them. Um, yeah, and I was like, and then basically we had Chad Gable versus Uncle Howdy. Like I said, I already explained a lot of that. And like I said, the hair. But I was like, other than that, I was like, maybe they'll do a little bit more brute force of Bo versus some of the speed or technicality of Chad. I was like, they didn't fool. It wasn't a full-on type of match like that. But hey, I was like, they're not done with this. So, but to put them in the main event, I was like, it went good. Uh, yeah, so I think it was all fine. But anyway, that was the Raw Go Home Show. With basically, I was talking like three matches, you know, we all getting ready for Bachelor Berlin. The other ones are for next week or something like that. But yeah, until then, uh, peace, I'm out.